I see Unity's five principles as a blueprint for equality. The first principle says, there is only one power and one presence in the universe, God the good omnipotence. This principle tells us that God is the only source and it can only be of goodness. God creates everything and everyone. So each person is divinely made, regardless of the color of their skin or their faith. The second principle is we are each of God. This principle means we are all worthy and more than enough simply because we exist. I am how God expresses itself and so are you. And when I look at you, I can only see God. And when you look at me, you can see the love of God magnified. Principle three says we co-create the world through thoughts held in mind. This is a wonderful reminder of how powerful we truly are. What we hold in our beliefs is the world that we create around us. It gives us permission to change our beliefs. Any beliefs that we hold that are not of God. You see, when we are first born here on this planet, we get indoctrinated into family system beliefs, societal beliefs, and religious beliefs. This principle is a call to shed those beliefs that are not of God, not of oneness, not of equality. We get to create new beliefs, which create new thoughts that we hold which then means we create a world that truly is for all people to be seen as valued, worthy, and respected. We can create a world in which everyone is prosperous, joyous, and fulfilled. Principle four reminds us that it's really easy to forget truth and that we have to make a concerted effort to stay connected to source. Principle four says, through prayer and meditation, we align with God. As we go about living life, we are constantly being told what material things that we need to be successful, what education we must have, where to live how to dress, who to have relationships with, even who is friend or foe. And we often forget that these beliefs are erroneous because they are not of God. They are not of oneness. Those beliefs are of separation and lack. And finally, my favorite, the fifth principle. It states we are to live the truth we know. This is a mandate for us to ensure that our thoughts our words and our actions are from our knowledge that each person is of God. Imagine if each time we saw someone, we saw God. That each word we spoke to another, we spoke to their divinity. That each action we take is on behalf of another's well being. This is how we start to change the world to a world of abundance and prosperity for all, regardless of the color of one's skin. The second principle that uh, we all have a divine part of us, a spark of God within us that we are here to express. And so the second principle by, the ver by its very nature um, supports the idea that we all are equal regardless of race or color or gender or sexual orientation or any of the different iterations of, of humankind that we have. Uh, but the fifth principle is the most important because the fifth principle tells us that it's not enough to know the truth, but it is um, paramount that we live the truth. And this uh, directly speaks to how we um, operate in a fashion that supports uh, racial equality, because it's not enough to know uh, intellectually that we're all equal, that we must stand up and represent this when we see um, the opposite happening in our lives or in the world. 
Unity teachings boldly declare that we are one with God and therefore we are one with each other. We affirm God is. I am. I think. I pray. And I take action. By practicing and embracing our unity principles moment by moment ensures equity for all. My lived experience as a black spiritual leader allows me to be my authentic self. As a child and an adult survivor of abuses, a person in 12-step recovery, a lesbian, and a single parent of four black sons gives me the ability to have empathy, compassion, and a shared understanding. I am a survivor. My congregants come from all walks of life. Due to my life journey, I am able to listen and respect everyone who walks through our doors, whether it's those who are unhoused or millionaires, to embrace all spiritual communities and the unchurched, as well as people of all gender identities. Our intention and promise is to be intimately involved with our community by giving service to others and using our unity principles in every area of our lives, our community, and beyond. I believe that the unity teachings are ideal for times like this when we are having questions around racial equality because our core belief is that I am one with God, I am one with all people, I am one with all life. And when we really understand our oneness with one another, then we move from holding the ideal of unity as a passive virtue and a passive philosophy to becoming unifiers, that is the bridge builders that causes the coming together of people from all backgrounds and walks of life to share the common good that is all our birthright. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke about oneness when he called it the interrelated structure of reality. And we ought to live from the realization of this oneness. When we do, we move closer to fulfilling our potential as spiritual beings, and we dissolve the illusion we are separate from each other as well as the presence of God. Universal spiritual teachings can help us live out this truth and help us move to being a fair and just society for all who are part of it. And so we may ask, how do these teachings help do that? Well, it's a question worth contemplating if we are to create a world in which the cancerous energy of hate no longer exists and we have a world in which everyone absolutely everyone, regardless of original origin, of their nationality, their citizenship status, their race, culture, or religious background, are treated as the wonderful children of God we all are. But it begins with each of us. We must be the vision we want to see in this world when we express the unchanging and eternal qualities of the universe, our actions reflect those qualities. And one of the most important qualities we can have in today's world is compassion. When we see the world with compassionate eyes, when we see the world with compassionate hearts, we will treat others as we want to be treated. 
and we will recognize there are no others. There is only us and we are all one. I realize that the words of the teachings are just that, words. And they will always be words until there is a systematic shift from words to a more consistent practice in our world that nothing's ever going to change. The unity teachings have to become just words, that embittatory language of justice seeking. Our unity teachings have to become the bellwether of compassionate response to the global distress call. I believe that we find ourselves today in what I call fifth principle times, where it is not enough to move through the world only knowing a truth. We have to, on every occasion, seek to rise up and live aloud the truth that the soul of us has always known. Unity teachings can do more to support all levels of equality when they reach beyond the limits of those who only seek a new thought about spirituality or Christianity and begin to change the heart of all of humanity. I like the unity principles and the unity teachings because they kind of level the playing field. They show us, they show everyone that everyone is a child of God and is capable of living a good and fulfilling life and that everyone has gifts and talents and abilities. These unity teachings shows us that spiritually we are all equal in spite of the outer differences that we may have, whether it be race or whether it be gender or whether it be income or education. These teachings show us that everyone has the inner potential, that divine spark within them that can help them to overcome adversity, that can help them to manifest their dreams and goals. And it shows especially Black people who have been marginalized in this country that they can overcome the racism and discrimination that they've had to endure. It helps everyone to realize that even though life knocks them down, that they can get up. If life, if life knocks you down 10 times, well, these unity principles encourage and inspire and motivate people to get up 11 times. These principles help us to, to develop a greater self-image and a greater sense of self-worth. They inspire us to achieve more, to have more, and to strive to be more. And they help us to discount and, and, and eliminate from our consciousness the feeling that we can't achieve certain things, the feeling that we are less than others. This is why I'm so in favor of Black History Month, and this is why I just love these unity teachings that I've been in actually for over 50 years and that have helped me and many others in so many ways.